So the philosophy of the collection uh, comes from uh, Bulldog and the Union Jack. Now, his, in a historical context, uh, the British Bulldog has been used for propaganda. Um, and it has a very negative connotation, a very strong, aggressive connotation. Um, but what it did in the, in the late 70s and the late 80s is this propaganda actually brought a new music culture <clears throat> with the two tones specifically. So what it did was it was integration of the white and the black people. So it brought reggae music and rock together. Actually, there are no rules in this respect. Um, pe people have used uh, felting in just one format. Um, I think the only rule that I have broken is I'm, I'm using Indian textiles uh, and I'm using them on, on woolen fabrics. Some are English wools, some are British Isle wools. So, and I've combined it with sequence work and embroidery work. The long shirt, um, I think it's been a star trend all through um, the year. I've, I've got a few um, long shirts as well. A tailored jacket never goes out of fashion. Brogues, um, again, people have started uh, cashing it down, like, you know, like I'm wearing it without any socks and right. with shorts. I think one thing that should die at the moment is um, specifically um, on our fashion scene is prints. I think there's just too many of them happening. Amitabh Bachchan. Okay. Let's say Hrithik Roshan. Okay. Randeer Singh. Okay. <laughs> um, no, I just think he's he's quite apt for the style that I, I tend to do. Um, Chinos, loafers, um, sh um, linen shirt, um, and a cotton blazer. Navy jacket, navy tailor jacket, uh, white shirt, jeans, uh, brogues. Three-piece suit, um, preferably in a brown or um, a herringbone, navy herringbone. Um, Painting leather shoes and a clean white shirt with a tie.